Now that we have seen the differences in transportation emissions between countries, we will discuss their sources. There are two types of transport emissions, the exhaust and the non-exhaust emissions. Greenhouse gas emissions from transportation primarily come from burning fossil fuels for our cars, trucks, ships, trains, and planes. Majority of the fuel used for transportation is petroleum-based, which includes primarily gasoline and diesel. In addition to the fuel type, there are other sources of pollution in transport. Some researchers report that pollution from tire wear can be as harmful, if not more, than exhaust emissions. Harmful particulate matter from tires has been going up with the increasing popularity of large, heavy vehicles such as SUVs and growing demand for electric vehicles, which are much heavier than standard cars because of their batteries. However, non-exhaust emissions are thus far completely unregulated. Non-exhaust emissions are particles released into the air from brake wear, tire wear, road surface wear, and resuspension of road dust during ongoing vehicle usage. As concluded by a 2017 study, tires are responsible for an annual release of 550 tons of airborne particles into the environment, making up an estimated 10% of microplastic waste in the ocean. It is projected that while the petrol and diesel emissions will be significantly reduced in the next 10 years, a steady increase in tire and road surface wear is expected. Further, when tires are not recycled properly and burned instead, dangerous levels of zinc and chlorine are released, posing health risks for the population. Currently, there is no clear legislation in place to limit or reduce non-exhaust emissions. Based on the California Air Resources Board, the non-exhaust source emission factors include brake wear, tire slash road wear, and road dust resuspension. Brake wear is impacted by factors like brake materials, driving conditions, or vehicle load. Tire road wear is influenced by the type of tire materials or driving behavior. And lastly, road dust resuspension depends on the driving environment and whether it's urban or rural setting and driving speed. In efforts to cut greenhouse gas emissions and reach climate neutrality by 2050, European Union has passed a new regulation that will require all tires to be labeled. This way that customers will be able to make more educated choices and hopefully contribute to lowering the non-exhaust emissions. Additionally, European Product Registry for Energy Labeling Database was designed. In this database, each supplier can register their tires before selling them on the European market. Suppliers could start registering the, their articles starting October 2020. However, consumers were able to access the database in May 2021. This database will be accessible to the public and will aim to educate the consumers. Each new label will include information on energy efficiency, which is indicated by letters from A being the most efficient to E having the worst efficiency. Braking performance on wet surfaces, again A, meaning the best braking performance and E the worst, followed by the noise pollution indicator and whether the tires are winter or Nordic, that are also called snow or friction tires. Fuel efficient tires have low rolling resistance that require less energy than standard tires to propel them in the direction of travel. The easier it is to roll the tire, the less heat is generated and the less fuel needed to propel the vehicle. When tires heat up, the thread will immediately wear down. Although the exact fuel savings are not clear and will vary on the vehicle type, gas versus EV versus truck, the typical row low rolling resistance tire should save somewhere between 1 and 4% per gallon compared to a traditional all-season tires that do not have the low rolling resistance features. With regard to some policies that could increase or decrease non-exhaust pollution, we should probably mention the one that is relatively well known in the EU countries. It states that all drivers are required to have winter tires in the winter season. Same policy, however, does not indicate that non-winter tires are required in summer months. 
For financial reasons, some drivers use the winter tires in the summer months, which leads to increased pollution as the winter tires are not designed for hot temperatures and therefore release more harmful particles. Although in recent efforts to slow down global warming, many countries have started to address non-exhaust pollution, the non-exhaust emissions have been remaining unaddressed and unregulated in many regions in the world.